In 2020, Elon Musk reiterated the urgent need for nickel, urging mining companies everywhere in the world to mine as much of the metal as they can. On the other hand, nickel supply has been constantly dropping thanks to surging EV demands. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Everything Tesla Stock. One of Tesla's most important goals is to increase its car production and reduce costs to as low as possible while doing so. And among several other production challenges, raw material supply has been a major hindrance to achieving this goal. Earlier this year, EV companies struggled to meet their demands due to a short supply of raw materials like nickel, as well as lithium and cobalt, which are key materials used to make batteries for electric cars. According to experts, the shortage of nickel is not because it is unavailable, rather it's because they're not mining enough of it from facilities which are so scarce that they can't actually process the type of nickel needed for batteries used by electric cars. In a bid to bridge the gap and get more nickel for its batteries, Tesla has been making efforts to find sources for its nickel supply. How can this move help ramp up Tesla's car production? We're just about to find out, but before we get into it, if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and don't forget to keep up to date with everything going on in the world of Tesla. Oh, and leave us a like. Elon Musk some time ago urged miners to mine more nickel, offering a giant contract to anyone who could do so, sustainably and in an environmentally friendly way. This came as an effort to find a stable source of nickel supply for Tesla, owing to the decreasing availability of the metal. Nickel is a vital component of electric vehicle batteries, specifically lithium-ion batteries, allowing vehicle manufacturers to reduce the use of cobalt, which is more expensive and has less transparent of a supply chain. Although there is enough nickel to support a major ramp up in EVs, the major headwind here is that there aren't enough planned mining projects to make use of this untapped raw material, which is ready to go. And since there is an increasing demand for electric vehicles coupled with the lack of new nickel supplies, the high-grade nickel needed for making electric vehicle batteries is becoming scarce. Can Tesla find the needed amount of nickel for its cars? Well, you better keep watching to find out. Flying Nickels, F-L-Y-N on TSXV CEO John Lee has revealed that the company aims to be the world's most environmentally friendly nickel mining companies. He further stated that the clean nickel from Minago is ideally suited to go into high-performance nickel batteries powering modern EVs. Earlier in September, the company announced its Minago nickel sulfide project in the Thompson Nickel Belt in Manitoba, Canada, which is expected to have an industry-leading low-carbon footprint. The Thomas Nickel Belt hosts over 18 nickel deposits, with production of 6 billion pounds of nickel, and it's the fifth largest nickel mining camp in the world. In May, the mining company announced that it had commenced a drilling program at this facility, a total of seven holes lining up to 4,980 meters of exploration and infill drilling were planned for the program. This is yet another nickel source that Tesla can tap from. Aside from its importance in providing enough nickel not only for Tesla but other EV makers, Flying Nickel F -L -Y -N, on TSXV can be of great benefit to its investors through its stock. At an entry point on $10, it could be a valuable investment for anyone seeking to invest in a growth stock. One thing to look out for is for the FLYNF on OTC, currently trading at $0.15 cents with a market cap of $12.4 and a stock volume of 37,650. According to Goldman Sachs, there was a global deficit of high-grade nickel back in 2021, which the firm predicted will widen in 2022, or even quadruple to over 800,000 tons by 2030. Likewise, Mark Beveridge at Benchmark Mineral Intelligence stated that the nickel content in battery cells is only increasing, and this is because more nickel means more energy density. He also added that EV production is heading towards a phase where 90% of the cathode for certain specific cell types will be composed of nickel. Coupled with the low mining rate, nickel supply was plunged by the Russian-Ukrainian crisis. Russia's got a lot of high-grade nickel, and its invasion of Ukraine sent prices soaring to record highs due to fears of supply disruptions, even to the point of causing the London Metal Exchange to suspend nickel trading for a week. According to Beveridge, nickel shortage is having and will likely have an enormous impact on the EV market. In March, Tesla raised prices on vehicles with nickel-based batteries by $1,000 due to the surging cost of the raw material. 
Although experts have claimed that recycling and waste reclamation are an important means of obtaining some of this metal, if sustainable energy and a zero net carbon future is to be achieved, there is a need for new mining to take place over the next decade. And since Tesla is fully aimed at promoting the world's transition to sustainable energy, this is one way it can achieve that goal. Well, speaking of nickel mining, Elon Musk announced a potential partnership with companies that can sustainably mine enough nickel. Tesla also has previously done deals with Valley and Indonesian governments to secure enough nickel for its batteries. This is done in a bid to secure another source of nickel since the US is in short supply on domestic nickel resources. And the Eagle Mine in Michigan, which is currently the country's primary nickel mine, is expected to close in 2025. In 2020, Tesla had allegedly been in talks with the Indonesian government to build a new nickel venture in the country, which has a strong nickel reserve. Also earlier in May, Investment Minister Balil Laladalia stated that Tesla had agreed to build a battery and electric vehicle plant in the country, but less action had followed this announcement. However, the Coordinating Minister for Maritime and Investment Affairs, Luhut Panjaitan, later announced in August that Tesla had signed a five-year contract with nickel processing companies operating out of Morowali and Sulawesi Island. It was also revealed that Tesla has a strong partnership with Valley to secure nickel, although this has yet to be confirmed by the automaker. Although there had been news of sufficient nickel supply coming from Tanzania, there were little deals after this. Kabanga Nickel Limited, the largest development-ready nickel sulfide deposit in the world, had sought to raise $1.3 billion for a massive mining project in Tanzania to ease electric vehicle manufacturers' insatiable demand for nickel. Speaking on this, the company CEO, Chris Showalter, stated that the firm was positioned to start delivering nickel for Tesla batteries. Although the news did make several headlines, not much else was heard about it. Do you think that Tesla can have enough nickel supply through these partnerships? Let us know down below. Nickel lithium batteries are the standard for high-performance EVs, and it is a vital component of high-energy-density batteries, which are required for long-range electric vehicles. Although only about 5% of the world's nickel supply is currently used for EV batteries, the number is going up faster than expected, and with the increasing price of nickel, it is uncertain what to expect. In 2021, prices increased over 16%, breaking the $20,000 mark and hitting more than a 7-year high. According to analysis, no one can anticipate just how high the price is going to go. However, in the midst of the short nickel supply, Tesla may have enough options for mining this metal in the coming months. Canada is a global leader in nickel production, with nickel deposits enough to feed 10 million Tesla batteries. The country produced more than 167,000 tons of nickel and was the sixth largest producer in 2020, accounting for 6.7% of global production. Luckily, Tesla is gradually making its ground in nickel mining in the country. Brazilian-based mining giant Valley recently confirmed that it has signed a deal with Tesla to supply nickel from its Canadian operations. If that partnership does continue, then Tesla could be well on its way to acquiring enough nickel for its batteries. If nickel mining is successful, its supply could increase exponentially over the coming years owing to an increase in EV production. According to a recent report, global automakers are projected to spend more than $515 billion by 2030 to develop and build electric vehicles. The report further stated that by 2025, more than 100 EV models were expected to be on the market and available to US consumers. According to Platt's analysis, David Capati, it is expected that initial EV purchase prices will continue to decline as the decades progress. The analysis added that he is currently predicting EV battery costs to fall below $100 per kilowatt hour by 2026, making EVs more cost competitive than ICE vehicles without subsidy. Also, EVs will likely penetrate more markets by 2030, and this will hopefully be facilitated by government policies to promote the use of EV cars. In recent news, the Californian government revealed plans to phase out gas-powered cars, adding that by 2035, new cars sold in California must be powered by electricity or hydrogen. With California on this path, it will likely pave out the way for other states to follow suit. With more Tesla cars coming out, nickel supply is sure to increase, which makes investing in flying nickel stock, FLYNF on OTC, a pretty lucrative option at the moment. Tesla is well committed to reducing the cost of producing its cars, and this will be well facilitated if its nickel supply is secured. If the company succeeds in finding a mining source for nickel, 
It will not only benefit financially, but it may also create a roadmap for mining the critical materials needed to produce electric cars. What's your take on Tesla's effort to increase its nickel supply? Do you think the car company can secure a long-time deal for mining nickel for its batteries? Let us know in the comments section down below. And if you want to know more about what Tesla's been up to in the past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there!